Well, hello there, it's Dan here, and I'm going to be showing you some plants of totally epic and utmost brilliant proportions. Now, those of you who have been following my channel for a wee little while will be aware that I sowed these, oh dear, probably about uh, six weeks to two months ago, something like that. You may wish to trawl through the channel to see what I have indeed grown and when I indeed did indeed set these and you can see what they are. They look absolutely fantastic. Now these are geraniums, okay, Variety Horizon White and you can see that the leaves have taken on an absolutely lovely, beautiful colour of epic proportions and magnitude of beautiful brilliance. Now, doesn't that sound amazing? Okay, so, geraniums Variety Horizon White. Now when I set these, I often tell people the good time to grow them, to set them, to germinate them in the autumn before which the time in which you want them, because that way you'll have your flowers on early. Now isn't that brilliant? Tell you her, old boy. But uh, yes, I'm hoping all being well, these will have lovely flowers on them, probably around, mm, yeah, so if we say late May into June, that would be amazing. But don't they look wonderful? Growing away here in the absolutely lovely windowsill propagators. Don't they look brilliant? Well, in fact, I think they do. There we go. So here we go. Now look at this wonderful specimen of beauty here. Now this is the Korean mint, okay. I think I've got the name here. Superior Licorice Mint. Now, doesn't that sound amazing? And I intend to be making my own tea, old oh boy, with this. So that sounds amazing, beautiful, brilliant, and excellent. And I think it's lovely to be using things like windowsills, using them as propagation. Look at that, look, and some sweet peas as well, variety. I believe they are variety. Yes, Turquoise Lagoon, as I have written here. So do not they look lovely? More, s oh, this is singing the blues here. And these hot peppers in this one have not indeed germinated, but that's not the end of the world. One can indeed cope with something like that. But don't these look wonderful? This is Geranium Horizon White and will be in lovely bloom in the summer. Doesn't that sound amazing? Now, here we go. Do not these look amazing? Now, you may remember this absolutely lovely begonia that uh, I set here, and it's rooted. Isn't that amazing? Rooting begonias. What an amazing thing to do. And look at these. Look at these absolutely proper, beautiful, oh, Onavec hot peppers. Don't they look lovely, beautiful and healthy, gorgeous, lovely looking leaves. Everything here is looking beautiful and indeed how it should. Okay, so on a serious note, how am I caring for these? So what I've done is germinated them here on the windowsill, okay? It's a south-facing windowsill, and basically I've done that because, you know, this time of year the weather outside is cold, and you'd have probably close to zero success, um, certainly with regard to germinating the geraniums. And they would be very slow if they germinated at all, highly unlikely if you tried to germinate them outside. But um, So I've germinated them all in here on the windowsill. They're all looking lovely, benefiting from the microclimate, which acts as almost like a small wind um, greenhouse, really. And I've been feeding everything here with liquid seaweed, the Vitax variety, so you know uh, what I'm into, really. But um, this is a good way, you know, to just have a few little things teetering away on the side, ready for you to put out yourself in the uh, for the spring. Well, late spring, really. Okay, so down here you can see the banana plant overwintering up against the window here. Now, it's not... To, an ideal place having a banana plant behind a curtain up against a uh, a window, but I've got no other place for it. It needs to accept, uh, needs to get the sun. But um, you can see this leaf here is a new one, and it's germinated. Germ Goodness gracious, what am I talking about? It's um, put out that additional leaf, lovely. And down here you can see the um, coffee plant down here it's looking lovely once again these are being fed with the vitax liquid seaweed so they're all doing well now it's amazing just how quickly um, these banana plants take up the water so what i've done using my watering can down there I've uh, I filled that little uh, saucer up down there totally up with water and also i put some water in the um 
what do you call it, in the pot there, in the growing medium with the uh, banana plant. And it's uh, it really did, um, you know, sucked it up within about six hours, maybe a bit longer than that, I don't know, today. But a really hungry plant, so yeah, lovely. Bit of feeding there once again with liquid seaweed. And you can see my little pup, whoops, my little pup there that's coming up. So uh, yeah, should be pretty good indeed, really. So there you go, there's my banana plant. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, to get bananas off of this one day should be doing very well and lovely, yeah, looking really cool.